Good, we're good. Ready? 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 Yes. Yeah! Cheers, Charlotte's Bone Dangerous Cool No Advisory Podcast. Your boy C.O. McClain. It's your girl, Trap C. It's Terrence Beat'em Up Unscripted. <laughs> and she ain't beat nobody up. I'm beating your ass, honestly. Huh? <laughs> so listen, after this, right? <laughs> Don't piss me to off. Record Not you. The hoochie is getting Sneak. beat up. That by is me. crazy. No, 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 other okay, way we should go live. We should go, yeah, we should go live, right? Let's go live on the page and let people watch this shit in live in action. Yeah, let's do that. I'd rather do that. So all then pre-recorded. First of all, all y'all that's watching at home, let me before I say what I need to fucking say, like and subscribe. We're on <laughs> YouTube, uh-huh. Facebook, uh-huh. Instagram, mm-hmm. Spotify, Apple mm-hmm. Music, iHeartRadio. Mm-hmm. We're on Black People Meet, Christian Mingle. Pornhub.com. We're no, not we're not on Pornhub. Pornhub. Stop saying Pornhub. it. Pornhub.com, midgetpeople.com. We're not on any of those. Midgetpeople.com. We're not on any of that. You can't say the word midget. You can't say that. Midget We're going to get canceled. Can't use the word midget.com. Can't use the word midget.com. Geriatric.com. Uh, we're on Bengay.com. Hey, I what? need Viagra.com. Hey, yo. Um, no, we're on all that. of that. Anyway, can I finish? Huh? My spiel? Anyway, wait, wait. we oh, on no, sure, sure. Okay. We okay. on Black okay. People Meet. Uh-huh. Christian Mingle. That. Yeah. We're on um, No, we're not on Christian Mingle. Yes, we are. No, we it can't is. be on Christian Mingle. No advisory verse five that we are on there. Sure, yeah, sure, and sure. not using the uh, oh. Well, no, all right, no. we're also <laughs> not what I was gonna say at all. <laughs> we're also on tag.com, MySpace. Yo, tag, tag is, is we not are for us. Bebo, Photo Bucket. <laughs> tag? Tag. Y'all remember Tag. Tag was, you was crazy. You back would be on there getting bitches out there with that. It was mad Spanish. I'm, I, I love Spanish women. It was mad Spanish women on that shit. <laughs> you was catfishing your height. Who? Uh, it was little people. You were like 5'11, and then huh? they meet you like 5'6. No, five, 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 five. You 5'8. Five, five, you 5'6. Five, I'm not 5'6. I'm 5'8. Ask my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody could lie to their fucking doctor. Yeah, right. You know, the doctor ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell them, pull out the medical records and put my. Five, I eight. won't even ask for your license because you can lie on your right. license. Right, because I was about to say, I was like 5'11 on my license for years. Yeah, this midget girl I know like, put seven oh feet two. On what is that with you on on little people? I love little people. All right. Because I'm little. Now that I got my spill out, this um, fight, mm-hmm. this brawl, this. Um, CEO's talking about it's not going to happen because he's going to get his ass whooped before the live even starts. Um, always, first and foremost, y'all know I got to give a shout out to the Hoochie. Shout out to the Hoochies. Hoochie gang, they gang. So we're going to call Hoochie one gang. Thing, one thing. That is not. That's on the Hoochie internet. Gang. We are not a gang. Right? They're a gang, y'all. We are a, first of all. They're a fucking cult. They're a fucking they gang. They're a sisterhood. They're a fucking. They're a cult gang. They're, they're, they're a cult gang movement of Hoochies. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say they no more see it because. Oh, yeah, yeah. they done, yeah, we they done, God said it, she's a fucking hoochie too. Yes, wow. I am. We have, induct, we game. have inducted Sid into our philanthropic um, community service I love outfit. Big words, big words. Philanthropic community service organization. We walk in <laughs> sisterhood of faith. Did she and say philanthropic? Yes. Philanthropic, because we do give back. We we give back to people. They, they we give. finna give you back your ass, because we finna whoop your ass. <laughs> so, you know, we giving back stuff. We are a sisterhood. Wah, wah, we are wah, wah. We are a sisterhood, okay? So, y'all know I got to give them a shout out every week, because they always come to support me. Yes. Um, y'all know this week been a long week for me. Mm. <laughs> See, we, you know, we chatted. Yes. And let me tell you about my sisters, okay? Mm-mm. They got in my group chat and read me full of faith, okay? Yes. And then I had a tough day today. Guess what they did? Pulled up to the house with pizza and wine. Oh, what shit. friends do that for you? Oh, the hoochies. Yeah. Guess the what hoochies. they did for me yesterday? What? Everybody said their own voice know the prayer. Oh. oh. Yo, shout out to the hoochies, man. Because I love the hoochies. Shout out to the yeah, fucking Yeah, because let me tell y'all. Sister. That giving hoochie is a good name. Yeah. See? Yeah, shout out to that. I feel like you about to piss me off. There's some and... fucking good hoochies out there. I feel like you about to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Like you about to piss me off, but I'm gonna just keep going because that's the devil working. That's the devil working. But yes, you know they support me all the time. We always have great times and yes. great weekends, yes. and you know I just want to say I love them every episode. Aww. Also, shout out to Big Brother Jeff um, because Brother Daddy has been saving me this week too. Brother so, Daddy, yeah, Brother Dad. That's my dad. It's also my brother. So shout that's out to shout him. Shout out to Brother Dad. Um, and yeah, that's all the shout outs I have for this week. Shout out to the niggas that's gonna get their ass whooped today. And I say niggas because it's an S, right? Because I'm on Multiple. niggas' ass. Because people want to be funny and stuff. So I'm on air with it. You recording the cameraman, y'all? The cameraman. Don't come on my man Swish. I am because he gonna get his ass whooped too. Okay, you want me to Harlem? Yeah. You hear this, Harlem? You no, can't go down like that. Don't let him. What you say? What you say, friend? Don't let him go down. He gonna go down. She making terroristic threats I against sure our cameraman. Am. It's crazy that you said that. <laughs> terroristic terrorists. Hello. 
Harlem. Harlem gonna get a down south ass. What's up? Everybody, everybody gonna catch these hands today. These hands are ready to eat for everybody. So what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm on that today. You need that? You need that? Huh? Do you? you I'm just saying, Trap, do not indulge in his ass for Oh, you getting a two piece for me. Oh! Oh, shit. Y'all done turned her against me. Yes, we did. That's what hooked me up with the she devil. I don't fuck with y'all hoochies no more. You want to know what it is? That night of A1 bonded us. Forever. What's the nigga version of hoochie? What's the nigga version? You. No. Maybe. What's the nigga version of hoochie? Who? A jiggler. Hell no, nigga. No, yeah. not Jiggalo. I'm a Jiggalo. Because I'm about to call up the male version of Hoochies, and we're going to... Horse. And who's huh? going to be in this group? Who I have to worry group? about it. Sleeze going to be in there, nigga. Sleeze not no Hoochie. Huh? No, that. I'm talking about the male version. We ain't talking about the Hoochies. <laughs> but the male version. Sleaze I don't think Sleeze didn't want to be in there no more. Huh? Yeah. Sleeze my nigga. We ride. Sleeze not nah. going to be in there no more. I don't we ride. Think. Chicago and NY. Nope, he not going to be there no more. Oh, matter of fact, happy birthday, Sleeze. Sleeze yeah. happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sleezy T. I went partying with Sleaze on Saturday night at um, Stats. How was it? Oh, Bruh, first of all, Sleaze and his friends be... First was of Mookie all, there? No. No. Oh, Mookie no. It was his other... It was his brother, his other friends. And let me tell y'all, first of all, I saw the bottle come out. It said round two. What happened to round one? <laughs> you missed it. I did miss it, but how the fuck <laughs> they get to round two? Because I don't never make it. it past round one. <laughs> round one just take me down. It happened too fast. And then, you know, fucking with Sleaze, I ain't go to bed till 5.30. That's a good Dang, night. Yeah, you had bruh, a good night. That's a good night. We, we, bruh. So shout out to Sleeves, man. Sleeves know how to throw a party. Okay. Sleeves Hold up. Is that Tito's available? You drink vodka? Huh? You old as hell. Is that Tito's All available? All right. Let's go ahead and move on to Hot Topics with Chubby. Somebody pass some Tito's. No. Old nigga. Huh? Shut up. I'm trying to get my Tito's on. Chubby. I hear Chubby, Chubby. Yeah. Oh that's God. the hand that's going to get beat up later. Go ahead, Chubby. So first, I do want to give my own shout out to Mook. Um, Shout out to Mook. Mook because he actually for his birthday it's July 10th he actually has a comedy show in Charlotte him, oh him, shout out to yeah, Mook yeah him and Ethan they just announced it Um, I think yesterday or Monday oh I gotta go I never went it. to one of Mook's shows so definitely yeah, if you Mook can shit. we'll put the link in the description box yeah, my nigga for Mook. to buy a ticket make sure you go support our nigga Mookie he on this com- comedy yes. journey Shout out to yeah. Mookie. Shout out to Mookie. Mookie's Shout out funny Mookie. as hell. Mookie's hilarious. Oh, speaking of bookings, um, y'all girl got booked for a hosting gig. Oh, Yay. Yeah, so I got... <laughs> I got booked for a hosting gig. Oh, you did? I did. I'm going to be hosting a... Um, a um, guy I know, y'all might know him. His name is Slay Supreme. Slay the Supreme. He's a rapper out of Winston. They are on a tour. Oh, no, tour. he's horrible. No, you're not. Oh, don't do that, B. I heard bad shit about this nigga. Ooh. Really on air? Huh? Really? Really? Oh, I just fucking don't care. You know, I don't Tito's fuck. do not pay us for the free yeah. advertising. Oh, now you see, you learn. All right. Yeah. Anyway, forget. Now I know him. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the camera down so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I really thought he fum- he made me fumble the bag. Right. Man. Like, come on. Anywho, they are on a tour. They are on a um, countrywide tour. They leaving from Greenville, and then on the day of Durag Fest that hey. night, yes. they are having a concert, and I am hosting a concert. It's like five artists. Yeah, I will. And be they asked your girl, "Can I host?" And I say, "Yeah." Don't fuck it up. Just don't fuck it up. See, y'all, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Right. All right, I know. Just let me tell you. Let me tell you a little history before you get started. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, shout out to my brother Cam. Back Y'all know Cam day. Autry. Shout out to my That's brother my Cam. Nigga. You know, I work with him, right? I know. Shout out to my brother Cam. Listen, Cam used to host these Dollar in the Dream showcases at um in the in the where Wet Willis used to be at the mm-hmm. Music Factory in that oh, yeah, La yeah. Revolution. Mm-hmm. I hosted a Dollar in the Dream showcases all summer, and all y'all favorite local artists was in there. You know what I'm saying? We had a bunch of sh- we had a bunch of people in there, and listen, we made money. Okay, over like five hundred, six, seven hundred dollars. Word. And back then, that was that was yeah, a lot of money. Had some money yeah. from there. No, nigga. All oh, right. Hot topics with Trappy, please. I wanted a dollar. No, fool. I can't get a dollar? No, you finna get your ass whooped is what you're finna get. Trappy, That's not go ahead. gonna happen, but can I get a dollar? Trappy. Yeah. Trappy. All right, so we only got I'm one birthday. Wow. Fuck your ass we, up. Wow. We only got one birthday Who? that we really care about, honestly. Who? Lil Duval. Oh, shout out Lil Duval. He turned 47 today. Shout out Lil Duval. I ain't gonna lie. Really care for him no more. You like Lou Duvall? Nah, because he, he gets be, corny. He be forty seven on Twitter being corny. Like yeah. I just, I mean, you, he's a like, comedian. You, you fuck your forty seven though. He like, almost gives you in a sense. Yeah, for real. He give like an older whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because you know sometimes you be a little corny a little bit. I'm never corny, nigga. 
Okay. What are we talking about? We digress. Audience, what do y'all say to that? Huh? Don't you. ask the fucking hoochies. They're going to agree with you. Of course. I'm, all right, now I'm going to fuck you up first. Oh. Oh, Go ahead. I'm picking out who I'm, I'm picking out who I'm going to get first. First I'm it was screwed. you. Now it's her. What's her name? What's your name again? You don't even know her name. I just know about the hoochies. I don't know none of the hoochies' name. I don't know none of the hoochies', name. Know know hoochie's name. I I get fucked up with, with what um T Pain name. <laughs> he called her T Pain. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what they even say two days for sure? Don't fucking play with us. They talking that talk. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Now we I'm like coming that. for you first. Yeah, we like mm-hmm. that. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, sis. Stop playing with us. All right, first up for hot topics: NBA legend and the man behind the NBA oh, logo, Jerry, oh, Jerry West. West man. Yeah, rest, rest in peace. Sadly, passed away at the age of eighty-six. Yeah. Rest yeah. in peace, rest man. Rest in peace. Word. Now they can change it to Kobe. Oh, okay. Damn. What? Somebody say something about that. Jerry not even in the ground. Right. Yeah. He ain't even cold huh? yet. He... It should be Mike. Correction. Yeah, it should be mm. Mike. That would be dope. I mean, because they already got his logo on all the house of the fucking jerseys. Jerry is sitting at the morgue right now. You worried about who's going to replace him. It's crazy. He ain't even rotted yet. He ain't even rotted. I mean, listen, death comes. His body's still warm. Death comes, you mourn, and you move on. You mourn and move on. All righty then. Moving along, please. Well, speaking of death, Mm -hmm. another 1017 artist has sadly passed away. Oh, Oh, this girl. My girl, Enchanting. Enchanting. Yeah, she passed away at the age of 26 from an overdose. And you know what's crazy? I was just playing that um, 1017 record last week with all of them on there. Big Scar, Enchanting, and all this shit. And I used to love her because her voice was so raspy, and Mm -hmm. I liked the way it sounded. Like, that song she had with Callie, I forgot the name of that shit. That is sad as fun. They said she died of an overdose, mm-hmm. which is really sad. 26 yeah. is crazy. Is she was still grieving Scar, though. Yeah, she oh, was. That, that's that's like a that hell of a thing to, to deal with in that industry and still yeah. try to be you every day and function. That's yeah. a, a hard I, I, I want to say, right, because um, I, I, I didn't know you were going to talk about that because I read some shit that Charleston White has said. Oh, God. Now, <laughs> y- y'all laugh. Like, sometimes Charleston White, he... he he may say some shit, but he be saying some shit that you be like, I don't want to agree with this nigga, but I agree with this nigga. Like, he says some shit I mean, about the young right? lady. right? He was like, you do that, you do pills, you got to expect that outcome. Like, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. And I mean, that's the truth, but damn, that's it's insensitive a way in the climate In the of climate of it. But in the hindsight, you look at it and you read what he said. I, I mean, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So yeah. the, the message was correct because if you do do drugs, you do do certain activities, at the end of those activities, that is typically what happens, right? Mm-hmm. So you know the choice that you made. However, it's not what you say, it's how you say that shit in that delivery. And my thing is, if this nigga wasn't so protected because he know niggas not going to pull up to him and really like yeah, he's protected right. do what they yeah. need to do because he police. Yeah. Yeah. If he was not police and he was not that protected, that nigga would not be saying shit like that because mm-hmm. niggas would beat your ass for real or mm-hmm. even kill you for shame. And shit like that, yeah. That's right. And he better be careful for real because you know, you get the right She was, she was real right. Like mm-hmm. she was real right. And and if you know said, what I know, you know what I'm saying. She's, she was real right. Like he she was in a that. hole too. He said she was a hole. Yeah. So stop. He stop said she was subliminally. A, he, he said she was a um pass around. A, yeah. yeah, a play. That's a what play, I'm saying. A play you something. Got, Cause one day he gonna say some shit and it's gonna be to the wrong group of people. Yeah. And this may be the wrong group of people. He say that too because, like I said, mm-hmm. she is real right and she's really locked in with a lot of real niggas out in Atlanta that. It's like that. in Texas and out in yeah, in, like Dallas, you know what I'm saying. So every you know being behind the camera and being you know police not gonna save your ass too many times. And I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit he done said, I want to be his damn ass. Thanks. Yeah. So. A, a lot of shit I don't agree with him. Cause I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. he's reaching. But you know, some shit if you look at the context of some the message saying, don't be wrong. Like, uh, yeah, know. yeah the, message, the delivery, the message yeah. don't be wrong. It's delivery mm-hmm. and what you say. And if he was really trying to change things and trying to be for our people, he would know that. But mm-hmm. he really just went in. The, he came in on good change and is going out sad like clouds. So, yeah. You know. It is what it is. But rest in peace, Enchanting. 26 is young. 26 young is very, very young. A whole life to live in. But I would you know. say, you know, kids, kids, please stay away from the drugs. The pills. The pills. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I know y'all hear these shits in the, in, in the records and music. No. And this shit is not cool. Nope. As you can see, the outcome is really death or death. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't, y'all don't know... You know, ain't no doctor prescribing these shit, so y'all don't know what the limit, y'all don't know what, y'all pills, know what people making, pill, y'all don't know, you know, and people shit. pressing it, yeah, with, and, and people that. cutting shit with fentanyl mm-hmm. lately, lately and shit is wild. So That's stay crazy. away from shit you don't yeah. know, not prescribe. Live your lives, man. Shout out to my son, he graduated yeah. today. Yes, yeah. Yeah. high school, um, East Independence. 
Oh, oh no, East Independence. It's just Independence. Oh, Independence. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, congratulations yeah, to you. Okay, okay. that's what's up. Yeah, I can't school. believe he graduated already. Oh my yeah. God, I feel so old. Yeah. yeah. Now, see your old, but yeah, huh? yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So mm-hmm. he going to college? Yeah, he going to um, what's the Salem? Okay. Hey, and well. Shout out to his girlfriend Bree. You know, his girlfriend Bree. You know, she, 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 you know, they like that. I like Aww. that. I like that. So they go on? What's the Salem? Oh, that's so the same cute. Time. They were sitting next to each other. They walked up with each other. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, they like, right behind cute. each other graduation? Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that was cute. I know you were proud of Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you're going to get your ass beat, but you were a good dad. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> See, the spirits of the fathers got me, right? They don't get their ass beat too. Do y'all remember I'm last week when I was telling y'all there was a teacher in Texas at elementary school that got fired because she was doing OnlyFans in the classroom? Yeah, oh, yeah, Come to find out, it was her ex-boyfriend that leaked the videos to oh, the school. Oh, niggas are your biggest haters Yo. for real life. <laughs> Men are women. Yeah, shout out to you, nigga. Haters. Haters. Shout out to you, my nigga. <laughs> That's how you haters. get back. We're not even. We're not even together. Shout out, Justo. We're not <laughs> even together. But why are you sending my shit to like? Listen, you gotta be. You gotta be very particular in who you send. That's shit nasty word. Yeah. You, you gotta be very particular because you gotta look at people's characteristics. He probably was subscribed to her page and everything. Was That's like, nasty oh, yeah, word. Want me back. No, ben, watch yo, this. watch this. Men watch are this. men. Really, your biggest haters. They for are. Men but are your it, but again, haters. the thing about it, and this goes to that guy. I don't want to mention his name. If you got skeletons in your closet, you got to be the fucking purest of the purest motherfuckers. Why would you do some shit or want to cause some harm or talk about somebody when you got all these skeletons in your closet but knowing we, that somebody going to get you? We don't know if she was talking shit about the ex and stuff. He might have just did that. So why that did he dude. release that shit? Because he's spiteful as fuck. Right, that, she that said something to that nigga. That just seems spiteful as shit. Niggas have done oh, shit, no. shit for but less. They probably couldn't have. Niggas have done it. shit for less. I don't want to hear that. Ladies, just be careful because you might end up with a booty pirate. Okay. Ooh, a booty yeah. pirate. A booty pirate. Shade. Hey. No shade. Go ahead. Posting them videos on Twitter. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so next topic. Hey, hey. I mean, what is really going on in politics? Our president, our ex president is now a felon. <laughs> our president and first lady son is now a felon. Hunter oh, shout Biden. Out, shout out to Hunter Biden, though, because that nigga lit. Listen, that nigga lit. So listen, Hunter Biden was just recently found guilty on his gun charges. And uh-huh. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of background about this gun charge. Uh, you so, know what I want you to talk about, right? If you, well, the crack pipe. That's what I was just, Sorry, well, I'm, not, I was just, I'm not going to touch on it, but. Yo, this whole so, race if you don't know, <laughs> um, Hunter Biden used to be a crack addict. A crackhead. A- admittedly, crackhead, he's crackhead. a crackhead. This is not allegedly. This is admittedly. He's a crackhead. Um, and at the time when he was addicted to crack, he went out and purchased a gun, but he lied on his application, which is a crime. <laughs> a crime. <laughs> on the Federal application, crime. they asked him, um, do you partake in any illegal drugs? And he said, no whole time being an active crackhead. So, <laughs> and when yeah. you say active, Sid, tell us how he was active, Sid. <laughs> he Can't was smoking crack out of crack they said, they, no said Hunter, they said Hunter used to wake up in the morning with a crack pipe in his mouth. <laughs> like, good morning. From the night bad. before. <laughs> he had it bad. <laughs> From the night before. I ain't mad at it, man. Fuck it, you know. I say no drugs, kids, but white people are totally different. So, you know Wait, so man? can crack get old? Was that old crack? It might have been crack. left. Leftover crack. It might have been spoiled crack. Is that old crack in the pipe? I don't think. I don't think crack. I don't think crack expires. I don't expires. think, oh, I don't think crack expires. You know how you leave weed overnight and shit. And that to be shit fair, I feel like, like that, I feel like crack is like alcohol. Like if you leave it alone, it it's gonna get, get bad. More potent. Yeah. You. How is oh, that? We don't. You, now you know. You, you huh? smoke. You smoke crack before. No, crack is whack. Like my girl when he used to say. And you know that's crazy. That's crazy because she's never no, mind. She, no. Never mind. We love you, Whitney. No worries about Whitney. Crack because crack was for broke people. That part. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. Don't do crack. So then you do cocaine. Right. All right. And the last one. Do y'all remember the um Tulsa race massacre that happened? The oh, who? the Tulsa race Tulsa massacre. race massacre. Yeah. Refresh Out of Tulsa, me. Oklahoma. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, it was a shooter. It was, it was this was a long time ago. It was like hella people. This was during segregation. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. This was during segregation. Okay. Yeah. And they tried to like burn down the city and everything like oh, that. Oh shit. Um, okay. This is like I want to say in like fifties. Yeah, forties maybe. Forties, fifties. Okay. Uh-huh. okay, so um, there has been a lawsuit going on by the remaining victims. There was Uh-oh. like three remaining victims, mm-hmm. all in their hundreds, um, that sued the city of Oklahoma for reparations from that because wow. you know they survived. Um, the lawsuit got all the way up to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court just recently, like, denied their claim and said that wow. although, you know, your your claim does warrant merit, we just can't allow 
y'all to continuously seek monetary reparations on something that happened so long ago what yes what? let that me read y'all i'm wild. gonna read y'all exactly what they say it's actually very disrespectful that would piss me off it says simply being connected to a historical event does not provide a person with unlimited rights to seek compensation meanwhile now, racism still going on but you saying it happens for, yeah wait, and if on. you remember they one part of, of it yes okay. they were little kids and they okay. survived and one of the people on the lawsuit actually died last year she was 102 but they were all they're all, all in the hundreds yeah the hundreds and they're like you know like our parents died. The whole city yeah. was burning. Like, we need some type of compensation that's for justifiable. rebuilding our life. Yeah. It is very justifiable. And for them to say no, like, that's a slap in their face. I know it's crazy, though. Supreme Court, this is all This is all a mixture of what has been happening. Trump is the one that put these people in office. Mm-hmm. So this is all Trump doing. This is why people, y'all need to get y'all asses out and vote. And let me say this real quick. For those of y'all that say they're not going to vote because why would I choose the lesser of two evils? That's fine. I respect everybody's decision, but if you don't get your ass out there and vote, Thanks. regardless of who you vote for, we're going to be saddled with Trump again, and we're going to be sitting there. I'm not even going to touch up too much, but just two words, Project 2025. Yes, it's, it's crazy. fucking wild. So get your asses up and go vote. Go register to vote. It don't take you. If you can get your ass up and go to the smoke shop, go stand in line from some Jordans, go buy some Yeezys at South Park. If you can drive your ass out there, if you can drive your ass down Betas Ford to go to Nikki's and get a salad, you can drive your ass to the school and go vote. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let me ask y'all this. In there, yeah. Nikki's on DoorDash? Oh, Ooh. they done fucked up. Why oh, you tell me that? Fucked up. Why you tell? Oh, oh my God, that's shit. Ass too. Wait, who's Nikki's? Nikki's salad Nikki's on Betty Ford. Oh yeah, my God. Oh, they sell salads. Yeah, oh. a salad. They sell is a, more than that, but oh, it's salad is what they know. Liver my sandwich. Yes. Oh, it's fire. Oh, they only open 6 a.m. to Yo, two, niggas, though. come and give us a plate. You they know what I mean? Come they, through they, and They close at 2, so they're not close at 2. They close at 2. 6 so? a.m. That's how you know it's good. When they close at 2, that's how you know it's good. They got workers that cook, right? The fuck? They can just cook and bring some food. They greet people. They, yeah, they, they greet? Not, yeah. So what? Greek people can't come out and bring food? Okay. All right. Well, that was all my hot huh? topics. I'm going back to drinking. I'm saying what? Hot topics. Um, it's the alternative. So they ignore me? Sid. They can't come out and bring food? Sid, hear this sound. The we deleted his sound. Yeah, we deleted that shit. Okay, I got you. Don't worry. What would you do? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> It's back, it's back to you getting fucked up first. What would you do? <laughs> shout out to Ray Mysterio, man. Shout out to Ray Mysterio. <laughs> if no, you know, no, shout you out know. to Ray. Well, shout out to the actual Ray Mysterio wrestler who passed away, obviously. Uh, but, hey, yeah, you don't know he passed? <laughs> yeah. Ray Mysterio. He died. Yeah, nigga, he died. Google man. that. Yeah, the mask nigga. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah. I don't think he's dead, but you know, CEO like to kill people yeah. off. Hey, Siri. CEO, he is, is not Ray dead. He's not dead? No. <laughs> he alive? Why is you killing people off? That man is not dead. Oh, my bad, Mysterio. My bad, son. I thought yeah, you was dead. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> Yo. That's why... My bad. That's why everybody's up so, what? <laughs> you are wild. I'm surprised y'all knew even know who the fuck he was. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, we Niggas with watch him. WrestleMania or WWE. Now, nah, Ray Mysterio shit. is my era. A little bit of my era. Okay. It... So, you, you act no. like they don't replay episodes and right. shit. Oh, so, you, so y'all fucking old, too? Y'all old by heart. What would you do? <laughs> that's That's not it. That's not I'm it. Weak. We're not going to do that. We I told you to do it. Oh, we got sweet. Shout out to Sweet. Shout out to Sweet. Every Look, birthday, nigga. Hey, every Sweet, birthday. You, we shooting a video after you. Yeah, we shooting a music video after this. Yeah, it's high <laughs> shit. It's high shit. Hey, I bought you some Tito's. Where's it at? I bought you some Tito's. Where's that? Go give him, go give him a shot of Tito's for his Ew. birthday. I bought, that was I just, that was just for you, nigga, but they drunk it, but I bought it for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Please, please. We don't even drink vodka, so start up lying. That's why the hoochie's gonna beat your ass after this. <laughs> that's, that's what Man, you get weed. Look at that shit. Oh, we get what? No, no, no. We don't get that. I'm sorry. Edit that out. <laughs> Swish. Edit that shit out. Bleep right. it, please. Bleep that shit out. All right, All right so what would you, you do? do? Quiet on the set. Quiet, Quiet on the set. set. Quiet on the set. All right, what would you do? What would you do? So usually, y'all, y'all know my what would you do is our accounts by me, or if not, accounts by other people. So this one is actually account by me, because I love my accounts. I just don't try to say, say some shit because... I was in a situation before, so I couldn't say a lot of my accounts because I was married. But now I'm not. I can say this shit. And this is in part of, you know, in, 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 in the marriage shit, right? So what'd you do? What'd you do? You got a girl, you know, she's shorty, and you want to you wanna do something nice for her, right? So you want to go and, you know, you see, ask her what she likes. She says she like go or whatever. So, you, you know, you go to get a change. In those days, layaways was very popular, right? So, you yeah, know, you I mean, go get a name chain, put on layaway. You know, you're making your payments, everything good. So what would you do if you go down and you, and, and you ask
actually put something on layaway for yourself, right? And you came into a situation where you had to get out the chain for your significant for your significant other or the piece for you. And you only had the money to get out one or the other. Because obviously time allotted for you to you like you had to get it out. Both of them. So what would you do? Would you get out the chain for your significant other or would you go and get out the piece for you? And then I'll tell you what happened after. You wanna go first, see? Cause this is an obvious answer, but shit. <laughs> you gotta think about it. I mean, I'm I got questions, yeah. Cause I am a little bit selfish. So I, I mean, probably get the chain for to me. be honest. But like, am I like really in 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 a relationship with this person? Like, yeah, yes, like, you, you in a relationship, you 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 got deep like this, feelings this my, for this, this person. This is my nigga, this is my boyfriend. That's your yep, that's your nigga, that's your boyfriend, you know, and you got the money to either get out his shit. Or the money to get out your shit. I ain't what would lie. you do? I'm a little bit of a trick, so I'm probably just gonna get his shit out. I ain't gonna lie, cause we talked about this shit before. You know, me and remember me and Sid had this conversation. This is like the second episode we did. Mm. You know, I'm a good sucker for tricking on a nigga, yeah. monkey, because you know I like I'm a gift giver. That's my love language, so mm. I like gift giving. So I'm going to get the chain out, cause then he gonna drop phenomenal. Dick. And then he's gonna go buy me the chain because I've I've dropped phenomenal. Yeah, exactly. And he's gonna go buy me the chain. And the chain probably better than what I put on anyway. So you keep smacking your teeth, but I'm so we had this conversation we like did. for real. You got a mic low? Let me get a mic low. I for real, are you it's it's um it's a thing about gift giving and it could be anybody, friendship, relationship, fam, um, familial. I like giving gifts and seeing people's faces. So that's my thing. And when I'm in a relationship, I like giving gifts. Okay. I I am a sucker for buying some shoes, a PlayStation, a game, a game. Well, I, I weed, remember I anything. spent almost a hundred dollars on damn NBA 2K, and I say, what the fuck? Yo yo, what is this? What is this? Damn. And I promise, as soon as that shit was over, I went to that motherfucking game back. So now okay. I play it. Damn. Oh God! But I okay. will check on a nigga though. That's my thing. That's my yeah. That's what I said. That's my bad habit. Trick, so I'll probably just I like go get the chain. Huh? I mean, it ain't no. tricky. First of all, it ain't tricky. It ain't tricking if you got it. I mean, it ain't tricking if you got it. I got it. So it's good for me to say that shit. So what's the question? So what would you do was if you had your last and you had um some items on layaway or your your significant other chain whatever and you had a piece that you really wanted for yourself and time allotted. That you had to get either one of those out, and you only had the money to get one of those out. What you getting out you first? Do? What you getting out? for you or something for her? Something yeah. for you or something for her. Damn. What you getting out first? Yeah, I'm curious. So whatever you don't last. get out. Yeah, this, this. Time out. Time no, out. it's not your last, but you only have enough to get, get one, one or the other at the yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much your last. Whichever one you don't last. get is going, you got to do it all over again. All over yeah. again. Damn. Yo. Because, now, I don't know. Let me come back to me, because I got I to gotta ask questions. Like, so you telling me, like, I'm bro- like. I got it's Nigga, forty dollars. You, like, you like eighteen it's 40, years old. I got 80, you like eighteen, and it's like ah, if I spend it, I'm gonna spend the forty. I'm only have forty left. Like type yeah, shit. like you. No, bro. it's your last. It's your you last. Got last last money to your get last. out. My priorities. Are, my priorities a little better. I'm gonna just go ahead look at her and say neither one of us getting the shit. <laughs> We gonna get some fucking groceries, that's, that's and we are gonna though. double up on this. That's neutral though, but right. see, but see, pass it around. That's neutral. The, 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 the lover, the lover, girl, and me, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. Did you spit? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Spit it out. What y'all doing? <laughs> what would you do? Shout out to the studio audience. Go ahead. What would you do? <laughs> okay, so just for clarification, just for clarification. Uh huh. Oh, her mic is up. It's good. Okay. Okay, just for clarification. Uh huh. So you saying it's one or the other? It's either, one or the other. You can't get both. Either get he both. get the chain or I get what? With get the whatever chain. that you that you had on layaway for yourself that you always wanted. Uh, why is it on layaway? Because, because layaway was popping back yeah. then. You were like eighteen years old. <laughs> Okay, so let me ask a question. And we on good times and shit. Like yeah, everything is your boom, 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 yeah. your man, yeah. your Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the chain. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna get the chain. I'm and then I'll tri- get my oh, shit later. Yeah, it ain't that deep. See, let me tell you how women think, right? Bit. Women know if I get what you want first, you gonna I'm gonna get what, what I, want. I want three times back. Okay. Over. And you don't even know. Yeah. You don't even know that you're doing that because I'm just loving. I'm giving you the chain. I'm dropping great yeah. pussy. I'm dropping amazing head. You just I'm cooking for you. You don't even know that you gave me that shit back three times. So now. 
now, so now I done got my jewelry. Now I done got, you know, some clothes. I done got some shoes, probably. Shit, I done got a new PlayStation and shit. Fuck it, you know? Mm-hmm. I done got that shit. That's what I'm saying. Women Cause be niggas, different. niggas not used to, excuse me, men are not used to receiving gifts. Yeah, men are women. not used to receiving like, gifts. Men not so rec- a lot of times when they get that, they're like, damn. You know, men are not food? used to women, yeah. like, planning days, when, like, taking yeah. lead and stuff. And women, yeah, we know. You know, we, we know. Yeah, we know. We know niggas y'all. not used to that. Y'all simple. Y'all are very simple. All right, so let me get into it because, you know, we do have a guest, so I don't want to prolong All right, it. give me the outcome, please. So the outcome was, shit, you know me, nigga. What you, you bought do? this shit for so yourself? So I bought this shit for myself. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> and then I faked the whole robbery. <laughs> You are crazy. Because it's never just, you always got to go too far. <laughs> right, it's never you, just, I bought the chain for myself. You go too far and every time. Hold on, so it, it gets better, oh right? Oh, my God. So, I bought the, because it was like this earring that I wanted, and I, I was like, fuck it, let me get the earring. <laughs> so, huh? Yeah, just one big-ass booger back in the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, so, I came home, I ripped my shirt. <laughs> I cut myself, so I put like a little blood on my shirt. Oh, you know, oh, I, was, like, I, I had to go all out. Yeah, you got to so I, I went to the crib. I was like, I was crying. Oh, they robbed me. They got the cheese. So my pops, he's not my pop, that's my step pop, but that nigga gangster, gangster. That nigga went and shot the whole block and shit because I told him some niggas on the block to stole my shit. Right? You making it real believable. Yo, it was crazy. Be like, I got some, I got a whole heap of trouble for that. So, long story short, her mom's was like. Was and to this day her mom don't know it was me. Cause I think if her mom knew it was me, I would probably not never got married to her. Cause she like fuck this nigga. <laughs> so she went to the jewelry store. Just Wait, to this see. is this is you talking about? Your, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny. I thought this is about me. Head, I'm like, this is about me. About. So her mom's <laughs> went to the jewelry store. Oh my god! And found out the shit was still there. <laughs> wow! And she bought it for, and then she found. It was a big mess. So that's what happened. I'm not going to tell the rest of the story, but that's what happened. I got caught because her mom's went to go uh, purchase the jam. My, my step so he was really pissed off. He's like, I could have killed somebody. You got me out here shooting, blocking shit at you. Yeah, I was a fucked up individual back in the days. I ain't going to front. Yeah, I was a fucked up that's individual. Fucked up. But yeah, so that was my what would you do. Comment and mm-hmm. please tell us what would you do in the mm-hmm. comments. And hopefully y'all not like CEO. Yeah, don't fake a robbery. Don't faking a robbery is crazy. Yo, I got a lot more shit. I don't like telling my shit because I would get in trouble. But before now, I can tell it now. I can tell it now. I'm good. <laughs> Statue of limitations. Statue of limitations baby. is over. <laughs> it's over. I can do it now. But yeah. All right, it's time. Cocktails it's... with tea. No. Oh no. no. And that's okay because you know what? I got my friends here, so I'm gonna get them to record some shit afterwards. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we could do that. It's oh, no, wine do that. down Wednesday. And yeah. first things first is wine down Wednesday with tears. Y'all know I have elevated and I have growth and I have grown so much. And I um am you know, I retired shots with T because I'm not angry like that no more. Well, Thank God. A little bit, actually. No, it was fucking entertaining. I ain't gonna front. It was entertaining, but I'm not. <laughs> the angry. container nigga came back, by the way. He definitely did. Oh, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't be. Yeah, sorry. I'm not. Right, sorry, right. sorry, sorry, sorry. Bro, <laughs> we'll, we'll put that in the. Uh, the we'll put that in the extras. Yeah. Um, but I have grown. So we're doing Wine Down Wednesday with Terrace. And tonight is sponsored by a Pinot Noir. It's hey. a red wine, and it's, hey. it goes straight to the coochie. They go, so why are nigga gonna drink that shit? Go straight to the coochie. It, goes, it actually pairs very well with like beef, um, mm-hmm, a good steak, and yeah, and it goes straight and, to like, the coochie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight's it's relationship. Don't tell now, me that. <laughs> tonight's relationship question is based yes. off of. Um, it is one of the topics that I kind of talk about um, with my friends and kind of talk about like with others because it's very interesting. What is a non-negotiable in a relationship? Like, what is your Red flag, you're non-negotiable in a relationship. Like, what stops mm-hmm. you from being like, you know what? I just can't do that no more. What's your non-negotiable? And you Man, have to have one. one. You have to have one. Like, my... I got one. I got one. Okay, go ahead. My non-negotiable is cooking. If you can't cook, it's non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. You don't know how to cook? I know how to cook, but... So we in I, when I, It's like, a, as a man, right? As a man, you have a hard day at work if, it's a, if you're a working man. Come on, especially if we do construction. Try the construction niggas out there, cause y'all do a hell of a fucking job. Y'all niggas be fucked up during the day, and y'all wanna y'all come home, y'all don't get no pussy and no food. Get rid of that shit. Fuck that. Give it up. So 
Non negotiable is a woman that can't cook. You gotta know how to cook. I'm sorry. You gotta know how to cook. You can't go out every day. You that's how you die. You know, fucking salt and shit and foods and no. You gotta cook. You gotta be able to cook. That's my non negotiable. I think mine is lack of motivation. If I feel like if you can't lack of motivation to be lack of motivation to cook. Yeah, I think like if you don't have the willpower or like the drive to get up every day and strive to not just be a better person but to do you know, be better in whatever it is you do, make more money, make some type of money each and every day, it's it's a non negotiable for me. Gotcha. Like you just content with just sitting around just smoking weed all day, playing the game, riding around, not doing nothing. Oh, that's it's crazy. not for me. That's crazy. Shout out to Baby Boy. I just watched that movie again <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> What happened? A baby boy? Yeah, shout out to baby boy. Baby, where you watch it at? At the crib. What on what channel though? It was on uh, Netflix. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I was about to say BET love playing baby boy. Mm-hmm. They show sure do. They love playing baby boy. That's it's a, on that's, TV a, that's, too, though. that's a real movie right there, baby boy. That's a that's it's a real like movie. when I was younger, I just thought they were so much older than what I like. When the older nah, I got, I'm in the like, movie, damn, they was like 21 and 22. Yeah, right? and that's, that's why I'm crazy. like, damn, like I'm I'm pat. I was never like that. That's crazy. That shit crazy. So your non-negotiable is cooking, and mm-hmm. it says yours is lack of motivation. Lack of motivation. Damn. And well, so when you say lack of motivation, like what? <laughs> when you <laughs> we, when you say lack of motivation, like is it just a generalized thing or like two specific things? Like if you if you just content with doing the same shit every single day, if you don't want to be a better person, if you don't want to elevate yourself, if you don't want to get up every single day and have some type of willpower to want to make some type of money, like start your day at zero and make some type of money for the day. It's, it's, I can't, I can't do nothing with you. Cause I can't, I can't motivate you if you don't motivate yourself. And right. you know what? Yours right. is like a serious non-negotiable mm. cooking is wild though. What do you mean? Cooking is wild. Like that's really a non-negotiable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I don't. It's just you know, everybody. Is it? Is it because? Is it because she don't want to cook, or no? Is it different between don't want to cook and can't cook? Because a lot of women could cook. They ask over. They don't want to cook because sometimes they cook all the time and they want their man to cook. So like that, I get that. But if you're a woman that just can't cook at all, to me, that's a non-negotiable for me. Right. I, I can't. When I come home, sometimes even if you can cook, you want to come home sometimes to a cook meal. You know what I'm saying? If you can't come home to a cook meal sometime, then it's over. I'm right. not doing that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to come home to Popeyes every fucking day. No, we ain't doing that. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, my non-negotiable is it's kind of two things, but mm. the most important thing is consistency mm-hmm. because I feel like a lot of times in relationships, people get complacent mm-hmm. and people get inconsistent. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just keeping consistency because keeping consistency is a part of a foundation. Really, the foundation of a relationship is communication. That's and, very, very much so. And it's like, you know, a relationship is like a house. So you're building a house, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, you got communication as your foundation because if you don't have communication, the house will fall. Mm-hmm. That foundation so like mm-hmm. communication and then, you know, when you're filling in that foundation, that's consistency because consistent communication or consistency goes hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's not non-negotiable because I cannot just mm-hmm. be in a relationship and nobody communicates and mm-hmm. it's not consistent. Mm-hmm. Also, my non-negotiable is feet too because I really can't fuck with a nigga with ugly feet. I mean, what if you yeah. dealt with an athlete? Athletes uh, got fucked up feet. And athletes got not money. Go athletes. fix that shit. Huh? Not, not, all athletes. not all athletes, but a lot of athletes got fucked up feet. Mm. Huh? Honestly, and honestly, my also non-negotiable is a nigga that can't cook either. Fuck it. I like to not cook one some days. So you got There's a lot of cook. niggas that just can't cook. Okay, then you Another have to go non-negotiable learn. is hygiene. Oh my god, I mean, a nigga that don't smell good pisses me off. I think that's a non-negotiable for? for like everything. It it's should. all these colognes out here. What are you here for if you don't smell good? Do I smell good. I smell. It's a little musk. Not a bad musk. <laughs> he got that Egyptian musk. Yeah, not a bad musk, no, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I say, I say, yeah, smell smell good. Good. you fucking hate Yeah, I'm, you know I'm hating. I, you know, because like, I'm fucking hater. To be fair, I'm a person that likes smell goods. I love perfumes. I love Prada. I love Armani. I'm a real sucker for perfumes, and I'm a real sucker for a man that smell good. Like, okay. you could, you could probably be stupid as hell, but if you smell good, I just might talk to you. No, and I just made a comment on my Facebook page. I was like, man, the most, the highest compliment that you could get from a, a is woman if is good. if you smell good. Yeah. Like, if you get that compliment from a woman, nigga, you're doing something right. Yes. All right? So go out there. You could go on Timu and get the high-end brand cologne for, like, $5. Niggas, and don't do that to shit. To be honest, crazy, um, those cheap colognes, the Indian colognes, um, mm-hmm. the, the Arabic colognes they are smell good. smell good as fuck, and they're cheap. And you can go get them shits, and those are shits that yeah. people have been, I got on TikTok, the oils mm-hmm. and shit. 
Listen to oil from the No, Lisa. listen. Go to um Taj Essentials. Taj Look Essentials. it up. Yes, yeah. they sell oils. They yeah. sell um like the roller balls. They sell incense. Like you will love it there. They oh, got yeah. every single perfume cologne that's out in a roller ball scent. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to shout somebody out right quick. Who are you shouting out? Hold on. Where they at? I want to shout them out right quick. Uh, Sorry, y'all. Where the fuck that? Shout out these motherfuckers. Who is that? The Silky Shea brand. Why you say it slow like that? Huh? Because you, if you advertising them, say it like you got. Because something. this is my first time seeing this shit, so I didn't know the Silky Shea brand. Shout out to the Silky Shea brand. All right, uh-huh. not the. Silky shea brand, like you can't see and shit. Because I didn't know, motherfucker. I was like, was you shit? read like like it's on hooked on phonics. Hey, you got four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. The the shea I'm gonna beat brand. your ass. So I, shout out matter to fact, the I'm si- sorry, I misspoke. We gonna beat your ass. Thanks. Hey, yo, okay, so what they do? Oh no, no, no. They got um the shea butter right here. This uh, where is it at? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up right here. Where is that? This shit right here. Like they silky shea scrubs. And like lotion and shit. Oh my god! Fire the smell of the shit. You be using a scrub. No, this young lady I deal with, and I'm not gonna say. You know that's the what chef. I'm gonna say. The chef. Shout out to my chef. Is the chef gonna invite us over for meals one day? Right. Huh? No, y'all are not invited. I'm yeah. sorry, cause that food is for me. Can you ask her? Can we come over for like a meeting or something? <sighs> Because I ain't going to lie to Jumbo Lodge. Because I know y'all know, but people don't know. So I, I'm not trying to, I'm going through some shit. So I got to make sure that shit is over okay. before I can, uh, you know. What they got to do with us coming over there to eat? Right. What the, yeah, let's stop talking about it. All right. Yep. Okay, we got to guess. Yep. We got to guess. Come that's on. Why, that's because... why I fuck with my nigga Sleaze. He, he, gives, he keeps me on point. This yep. is a, this is. Uh-huh. This is PR. This is PR. That's no, wait, my publicist. Because, hold on. The unscripted agency is hiring. Hey, yo. That's, a, that's a good unison. <laughs> all right, all right, Next I'm high. I'm high. All right, we have a guest? Yes. We haven't had a guest in a while. I love I this. And the guest we got today is a good comeback for us. Ooh. Wow. I'm so excited. So listen, we're going to go ahead and transition. We're going to get our guests on. Yo. Oh, wow. Wow, Polo. Oh! Da- Dallas know they got to win. Sorry, y'all. We watching the game. Oh, we need this money. Video. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, Dallas, who y'all got? Dallas or Celtics? <laughs> who y'all got? Dallas or Mavericks? Who y'all got? Who y'all I'm got? I'm screaming. Who y'all got? <laughs> Yes, I mean, go ahead, y'all. Yes, Luca bring that guest. Luca fouled out, too. Oh, oh Luca fouled yeah. out? Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. It's over. We need Kyrie to have, like, 50 in the next three minutes. Let's um, tap into our guest. Yes. <laughs> My hands start getting tired. That's why the sound bite is there for us. You don't got to clap. So listen, for those of you who may be familiar, there is a event that has been going on for the last couple years called the Durag Fest. Yes, and Norvaz recovered it, I think, three, four years ago, maybe. Shout out to that. Shout out to Norvaz. And this year, they are back June 21st and June 22nd. We will have the link to tickets on our story, so make sure you tap in. Oh, yeah, we're going to be promoting To get your tickets, there are um, regular mission and VIP tickets. But we have one of the events. I don't even know how we what would describe you. Well, we're we going to bring him in. Yes. We're going to bring him in the whole way. Yeah, way. Yeah, he but we had to give the background. We had okay. to give yeah. the background. And you know, this um, organizer, this host, he is a local artist in Charlotte that's really okay. dope and really fire. He's been around for a long time. So people who are watching this that's from Charlotte already know who it is before I introduce it. Because, okay. you know, that's crazy. We'll bring the um. But yeah, let's you you do got to bring him in the, no advisory way. I mean, hey, we ain't done this in a while. I'm so excited. I haven't <laughs> done this in a minute. All right, so listen. Here at No Advisory, we like to bring our guests in a very special way. Yep. You ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Be quiet. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I thought you talked to your, your co-host. You ain't high drunk yet. Yeah, I'm high for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know. I just wanted to shut up until a motherfucker said something to me. Oh, wait. So we just got three special questions for you. Just three. Who you are. Y'all. Where you from. From. And what, what the fuck, fuck you do. Well, what it do, y'all? It's the one, not the two. C-A-P-I-T-A-L-Q from Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I rap, model, and I'm currently a production manager for Durac Festival. And what was the last question? What the, what the fuck you do? You said it. You did it. Oh, you I, said it. Yeah, I do Wait, all I that shit. I need to go back over your introduction. You said you're not the one, you're not the two, C-A-P-T. The one, not the two. Capital Q. Yeah. I need to write that down. Rap the one, not he the, the two. No, he the one, not the two. The one, I, not... I need to start saying that to people. I'm, not, I'm the one, not the two. Four, yeah. three, four, five, six. 
T A U R O. Yeah. That's the only reason we know that, right? Or, He's right here. Or H- the nigga is right here. I, I got I to sue the whole podcast now. Or H O O C H I E, okay? Yeah, Hoochie. I, yeah, we'll talk after this. <laughs> hey, you got to get a percentage of that. Yeah. yeah. At least 50%. 51. Yeah, the podcast, too. The podcast, too. Yeah, because yeah, I'm on this bitch. Everything. Right? Cool, yeah, podcast, too, right? Because I'm on this bitch. Mm-hmm. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you briefly tell us a little bit of background about Do Rag Festival and why people should kind of be excited to come out to an event like this that's in Charlotte? Yeah, so this is currently the sixth year of Do Rag Festival. Mm-hmm. It's my second year working with the company. Mm-hmm. Um, it falls on a week of Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. So, it's really just coming out and, and celebrating black shit, celebrating people be black. You know, this is a mm-hmm. time where people can come out and genuinely be themselves and not be criticized for it. Because, you know, a lot of people might pop out with their do-rags on and their bonnets on and other colors might look at us a certain way, but we look at each other and we understand that shit and we can also look stylish while doing it. So Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, just come out and celebrate black. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now let me say, because we covered the event, um, I think it was about four years ago. That's when DJ Fannie Mae was the DJ in it. Sleeze, you was there. Remember that. Um... And it was an incredible event because just of the nature of the event, right? A do-rag fest. So, nigga, I was trying to find the dopest do-rag mm-hmm. I could find. I'm like, nigga, let me find how to get that whole, how to get that do-rag that matched the outfit that matched. <laughs> the I, socks. The socks, everything. I had to make sure my fit was perfect for a do-rag. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy because motherfuckers had long wedding gown do-rags. Mm-hmm. Benny May, I think, had that shit that year. And it was an incredible event, man, just seeing the people coming together for something that's so stereotypical as a do-rag, right? Because people, oh, you got a do-rag on, he a gangster, thug, or whatever. Nah, nigga, that's shit, the whole people's hair down and shit like that. You know, so I, I, I love the do-rag fest, man. You know, and no advisor be out there covering that bitch. You know what it is. So yeah. let me ask, because um, I'm a native Charlatan, so I remember when do-rag fest was created. I remember when it was a little smaller, and then all of a sudden, one year, y'all got this big boom and went viral on Twitter. I remember when that shit happened. Mm -hmm. What are, you know, what's the goals for this year? Like, what is the purpose? What is the the point for this year? What do y'all hope to achieve? So, I know with my goal, as far as, like, you know, making everybody be excited to come and have a good time where they did, I just want to make it bigger than last year. So that's what that's my main goal because last year was my first year working in an event, and it made my um, it made me feel good when people said that was the best one they've been to thus far. So my thing is just taking shit up to the next level and making this year better than last year. Yeah. So, so I feel like I have to ask this: um, as a production manager, what are your primary duties when it pertain like as it pertains to do rag fest? Um, stage aesthetics, um, booking all the DJs, booking all the artists. Um, also putting things in the run of show to keep people entertained throughout the whole um, festival because the festival from 2 to 10, and even though some people might not be out there the whole 2 to 10, I still want to make that shit exciting from the time you step in to the time you leave. Okay. So I don't want to say, oh, most people might pull up at 6, so we ain't going to start doing shit till 6. Now nah, those people that come at 2 o'clock, they're going to have a good time too. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm locked in on. Can you share some of those artists that are right. coming? Oh, uh, we got some. We got some dope local artists. We got um ten cell phones. We got so so GD. Ten cell phones. Shout. We had him on the show. Yeah. Shout out to ten. Young cell Bizzle. Um, oh, I love Bizzle. Bizzle okay. is a, Southside Ghost. Oh yeah, Bizzle is a long time Charlotte rapper. I fuck. I got my homie from Chicago, Freshwaters. He um with a group called Pivot Gang. If y'all familiar with them. Okay. Um, who else I got? Um, I hope I'm not for um Blue Coca from um Atlanta. She's a yeah. battle rapper. Yeah, um, fire. yeah. So. She dope as hell too. So we just it's a lot of dope shit going Shout on. Out, uh, and we got some special guests, so shh. But Yeah, what so you I'll tell us afterwards the special guests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a laugh for me. So, that means a no. So I want to know, like, who are some of the vendors that you'll have out this year? Because I know every year you guys usually have some dope vendors. Mm-hmm. Um are there any that you can speak to now for sure that are locked in? To be honest, I'm not even locked in on the vendor side. That's more like um another department. Like I'm so locked in on Making sure everybody experience is taken care of in front of them. Two stages, we got a stay a main stage, and we also have a stage in the floor. So, shit that don't concern me to be honest. I feel like, but I know we got some dope people that's a part of it. Okay. Um, I know Durac Fez has been at Camp North End for how long now? 
Six, six years. So what's y'all relationship with Camp North and like what's that mean to you guys? So do right fest, we have the um founders, um Lisa, Michelle, and Damon Wesley. Damon Wesley is yeah, also Damon Wesley, um, have Damon Wesley. Yeah, he's a part of um Black Market, which is located in um Camp North End, so the relationship comes there. And it's also, you know, that's a dope place for people to go and be artists, you know, like you know, the towns that I go through is always people in their dope, you know, painting and just chilling and building dialogue about art. So um, that's really dope for me. Like, Now, I want to know, because um, you say you're production manager, correct? Yes, sir. So, like, tell the people what goes behind the scene. What's that job entail? What is your job specifically as a production manager for the Do-Rag Fest? I really want to make sure every kind of black person has a good time. Because, you know, we might have those black people that only listen to Afro beats, that only listen to um, house music, that only listen to trap shit. But I'm going to blend that shit in so well that oh. everybody has a good time. You get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to hear um, Kodak Black from the day you walk in, day, time you walk in to the time you leave. Like, it's going to be some different vibes. You get what I'm oh, saying? So that. making sure that every black person has a great experience with us. Because this some black shit, like I said before. And not just one group, but every group is represented. Right. I love that. Mm-hmm. That's definitely for the culture. So do you have to have a do-rag to be there? I ain't got. I ain't win no do rag last year, and really? people act like that's that disrespect. <laughs> and I don't plan on wearing one this year. And not in with the fucking nigga. I'm bald. Room. So, so listen, <laughs> put a do rag on a bald head. Listen, production manager. <laughs> they ain't gonna know. Shit, nigga, I know. <laughs> I just, I just want you to know, production manager. Do rag touch a scalp. <laughs> me, me and um. <laughs> Me and the Hoochies have been talking, and I'm just gonna give y'all one word that's to my fit this year. Mm-hmm. Denim. Denim? You got a denim do rag? I got it in my head pictured out already. You should have said nothing. <laughs> they didn't laugh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just should, you know what I'm saying? And low key, I want my do rag to start like walking me. Like, I want it to float in the air and shit. Mm. Like, I want to be on some real crazy shit. So I'm gonna have to get Aladdin some. with a do rag? I swear to God. <laughs> Like a whole carpet and shit. I swear, if I ride in that bitch, we're going to go viral real quick. Okay. I swear to God. That would be like, do right fast. I'm going to make sure a drone fly, <laughs> flying over your flying I, ass. I, I, <laughs> well, listen, I'm just going to be like, sh- I'm going to get my students to do some robotics and shit. I'm gonna, oh, so you yeah. cheating. Yeah, I'm going to get my students to do Shout out to my students. They graduated today. I love y'all. Class of 24. Shout out to class of 24. Shout out, class Shout out to the kids. Yes. Always. Y'all the future. So, Q, I do have to ask, like, what's the most stressful part about being a production manager oh, yeah. for an event of this scale? Um, it doesn't stress me too much, but just dealing with all the different personalities, because especially when I treat, um, book people, I treat everybody like a star. So you got, um, you're dealing with a whole bunch of stars, different personalities. Like this person might need this, this person might need that. You get what I'm saying? So it's just dealing with different personalities because everybody not going to want the same thing to make them feel like a star. So it's just making sure everybody is taken care of. All right. Now I know you said that the event's going to be at Camp North and, and I know previously, um, I mean, I haven't been there, like, for the past two or three years. So, um, I know the space where it was held at before, they got some shit that's there now. So, generally, so where is the whole event as far as Camp North End is concerned? Where is that going to partake at? Um, down in the boiler yard um, by the, um, what's the shit called? The water tower. Mm-hmm. Um, and also inside the four, they have a lot of art events and stuff in there. So um, inside is going to be dope as well if you're trying to hide away from the sun for a little bit. We got the um, inside the floor from 2 to 8. You know, it'll also be a car show inside there. Um, pay the full car club. Uh, where, they, where the kids play with the Legos. Yep, oh, walk inside yeah. that building right there. That's shout, the floor. Shout out to Camp North End, unrelated. Which but is dope, by the way. Camp North End does a Thursday movie series. Mm-hmm. Like, really? They clear. They, um, it's in, free. It's right, yes, yeah, free. When it's inside, it's inside with the oh, floor. Oh, shit. Inside, inside the floor. Inside the floor. Or if it's not raining and it's a good weather outside, they put it outside. The whole summer, every Thursday movie series, I think they just did Bring It On last week. Word? Um, they Last year, we, me and the, you know, the Hoochies, we like doing stuff like that. We went to see um, Independence Day. Oh, that's my um, We saw... Baby Boy. The, the Goofy movie, that's free. <laughs> and also, they have... With the projector and all that? Yeah, and it's huge. Also, they have um, old school arcade games out there. You can play old school arcade games. They have food, so you can order, like, food. And it's alcoholic drinks out there as well. Ooh, yeah. Every like, Thursday? Uh-huh. And then you all you have to do is bring your own lawn chair... Um, now some people lay on the floor, you know, I'm not going to say who, Oh jeez, we bring our own drinks. Um, 
And sometimes, you know, like I said, they have the halal truck out there. Ooh. They have all this stuff, and it's good. Well, I think going tomorrow. this season, I think this season, I want to see Dream Girls. Dream Girls on there. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Deliver Us from Eva is on there too. Okay. Yeah, and I think. Um, no, that was last season. Last season they had Bad Boys on there, which I gotta go see the new Bad Boys. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, the new yeah. Bad Boys was fucking crazy. Oh, I'm sorry, but I fuck with the new Bad Boys. The movie, go see the Bad Boys. All I'm gonna say is one name. Reggie! I heard. I've been seeing that on TikTok and shit. I heard Reggie. Nigga, you look 30. Remember the first one? <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, when y'all go watch that movie, yeah. Shout this Reggie. nigga Reggie Turn is going to do some unexpected shit Wow, that's going to blow your fucking mind. The, oh, mil- wow. the movie made, I think, so far $104 million Yeah, about- it had, Give uh, Reggie $100 million for A that. shout out to them, though, because they did, they went over expected. They did not expect Bad Boys to do yes. so good, but they did the first weekend box office $141 million. Mm. That's crazy. Globally, that's global. And they thought Will was going to, you know, just fail after that slap. Right. And it's crazy. So, yeah, shout out yes. to them, though. But, yeah, shout out to Kim North, and they do that series every week. I'll y'all be can there look tomorrow. For the, y'all can look for the mm-hmm. schedule. Um, I know see, you're watching. We're going tomorrow, okay? I'll look yeah. for the schedule. They are family-friendly movies on there as well, but some movies is for your, you know, adult feelings, like Bring It On, um, Deliver Us From Eva. And they do black movies, too, I will say. Oh, I think All About the Benjamins is on porn? there. <gasps> All About Come the Benjamins on, okay. <laughs> Bro, it's a family. Come on, bro. Huh? No, they don't show fucking. Showing porn. the kids porn. It's That's crazy. crazy. It's, it's a family like, fair. It's a family, a family, family fair. Last year we watched um Goofy um we was on, on Juneteenth. We yeah. went to go see the Goofy movie. Cause they try to say Goofy is black. Goofy is black as shit. Wait, the dog. Yeah, the yeah. Goofy movie. He black? Yeah. I only went That's out there what they for my say. song. Just Google who does the, the voice of, of, of Goofy. He's yeah. white. He's no, white. but they saying like his race in the movie, like he's really like a black oh, kid. Right. A black nigga, but he got a he white black, dude playing yeah. the voice, but he's a really black uh, character. Are you trying to say? I don't know. Nigga had Tevin Campbell singing at the concert. Yeah, and, oh. he, and he was a single dad. You know, oh, that's some black okay. shit. <laughs> and he a dog too, right? Yeah. So they trying to say all oh, dog okay. ass niggas I black. I got a list. So it's not all about a Benjamin. It's Barbershop. Oh, Barbershop's okay. going to be on there. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, which I'm going to see that too. That shit funny. Is this this Thursday tomorrow? No, that's August. Okay. What's um, tomorrow? Tomorrow is The Longest Yard. Oh, what that's the, yeah, that's, that's the yeah, with, with that's Adam Sandler. Um, no, that ain't Logan Shaw. <laughs> no. that that's uh, Adam Sandler. That's Adam, Adam Sandler, Sandler, Chris Rock. Rock. Adam Sandler, Chris yeah. Rock. Yeah. You think L. about L. any L. given yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with LL Cool J. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, Longest Yard is when they Jamie Foxx. They in prison. Okay. Willie um, Beeman. Next week Willie is... Willie Beeman? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Willie... That nigga? Mm-hmm. No, that's Any Given Sunday. <laughs> Willie Beeman is Any Given oh, Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. See, you threw me off, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think next week is Dream Girls. And then the last week in June is... Ooh, Charlie's Angels. We should go. Because, you know, we've been referenced as Charlie's Angels. Yeah, that we should go. Yeah, we should all go. We should all go. Um, Miss Congeniality, um, Gladiator, to fuck over there Hitch, too. Hitch is in July, and Shrek. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I love Sh- Pick oh, three, my lord. Pick I three, my Shrek. lord. That's my favorite movie. The Muffin Man. Yeah, her face blew up when she mentioned Shrek. The Muffin Man. I love Shrek. Shrek is fire. Yeah. I love Shrek Have, so Do much. you know The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin, the Muffin Man. Man. Yes, Who yes. stays on Drury Lane? Well, she was with the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? <laughs> Pick three, my lord. Pick three, my lord. What the, the fuck are they It's yeah. Shrek references. Y'all scared me just Not the gumdrop buttons. Y'all scared Yo. me just now. I'm sorry. Do it again. The Muffin Man? You also know what my favorite line is. Well, he huffity puffity. And he just blew her. He took us to jail. <laughs> I swear to God, Shrek is a great ass movie for her. <laughs> Shrek is a great ass movie but yeah so they have Mission Impossible 2 The Princess Diaries okay. Legally Blonde oh I love Legally Blonde Napoleon Dynamite and Barbershop is the last weekend of the series which I'm definitely going to see Barbershop Barbershop is my movie too I love Barbershop did you yeah. like the last Barbershop no the with Tariq in it nah the one Nikki yeah no I didn't like that one too much and I feel like Tariq I, I don't know that shit was stupid the last Barbershop with Nicki Minaj in it wasn't that good but yeah, Camp North End has a lot of events, y'all. So I'm happy that Durag Fest is out there. I'm happy that y'all bringing in local artists. And we also got our own flavor ice cream at Over um, Seemingly Velis. I forgot the name of the place. Y'all we got, got we got our own ice cream flavor How at y'all the do that? ice y'all cream made place. It? Yeah, we made it. Oh, that's fire! We finna go over there. Overly Zealous. Shit. I can't remember it. And oh no, Vajra's gonna be out there. I hope. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, no Vajra's out there. That's June twenty second, come see us at our table. We gonna have our banner, our cameraman. We gonna have our microphones. We got games. We got you know interviews. So y'all come see us, all the participants. I'll be out there. Sid will be out there. Um, this man will be out there. You know what I'm saying? Come meet us in hey, person. Whoa, whoa, what? 
What? I have a name, motherfucker. You right. Oh, that's nigga. He'll be out there. It'll be a great time. Oh, maybe you, maybe you, you up, maybe you'll see a hoochie or two. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm we'll be out there. The yo. Yo. Hey, yep, yo. See, that's why. That, yep, right All right. So titties. back to do rag. Stop. It's going to be over. Right, Swish? I'm uncomfortable. Over. I'm uncomfortable. All see? right. So we're going to transition because that was a little, that that was was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> so cute. What? No, what? Was. Um. It's like your ultimate goal for do rag fest, mm-hmm. not um, just for this year, but for years to come. Yeah, um, I don't want it to be a um, once a year event. Mm. Um, multiple times throughout the year, um, in other cities as well, maybe wow. other countries. Ooh, that's fine. So, um, at the minimum, I want it to be a, a quarterly event. Mm. So, it not and not even doing just festival stuff, but other things I got in mind as well. So, I feel like I got a lot of ideas to help. You know brand. what? I hate to say it. You know where Durag Fest will really pop? I hate to say this, and I'm going to say it once. Fucking New York. That will pop off in New York. Shout out to New York, nigga. Yeah. Fuck out of here. We almost did Ghana last year. Ooh. So oh, those man. niggas ain't going to have, they're going to have handmade Durags. Right. I swear to God, that shit going to, that's, 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 that's what that's shit going to fly. Culture, that's yeah. what the shit going to fly at out mm-hmm. there, boy. That's Walk fine. up, nigga got a lion hugging his head. I swear okay. to God. I saw a nigga <laughs> on the fucking shit. I don't know if he was from Ghana or not, but I know he's from Africa somewhere. This nigga made a whole, like, motorcycle from, like, cardboard. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. I'm like, how you do that, son? Cardboard? He gonna, he gonna make a do-rag out of cardboard? He gonna make a do-rag out of... Yo, them niggas is invincible. I wanna see him tie fuck. that shit. That's fucked. <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea. Do-rag out of cardboard. We can make that shit happen. You have to oh, wet that shit. motherfucker to lay it on your head. I'm recycling my do-rag. My, my kids will color it. Huh? My, it's my... Um... Fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> shit, what the fuck? Okay. Well, yeah, do do right fast with because I'm ignoring his ass. <laughs> do right fast with definitely pop in New York. You know what I'm saying? No, it was. I think New York would be. You know, New York. They always. It's you the know, mecca of everything. It's not the mecca of everything. It it's just a, a dumbass city, but they whoa, be whoa, having whoa, yeah. Whoa, you know, whoa, I go there, but they do. You know, with the do rags and the waves, waves on swim. You know what I'm saying? That's so, my former. Tins, my former name was Waves 360 Brooklyn's Finest. <laughs> That's not like a um. That's not like your tag username. Yo, my waves was crazy. I used to have wave wars back in the days. Take your head off now. You can't see it now. Oh. You probably could see it if I brush it it's, a little bit. It's giving late Wiley. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> like if I really brush my head, my shit be waving. It's giving late Wiley. You know a little bit of wave, a little bit of pressure. That was my nickname. Wave three sixty Brooklyn's, Brooklyn's finest. finest. That really sound like yo MySpace name. No, my MySpace name was Maverick. Nine Z. Maverick. That was his rap yeah. name. See, she didn't know. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. So why y'all was calling him Maverick? I thought his name was Maverick, but they said it's Malcolm. They don't know about Maverick sleeves. They don't know, they don't know about Maverick. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all He's a real rapper. Could he rap? Real rap? He can rap though. Shut if you telling me he can rap, then that means he can rap. Oh really? Tell him shit. He saw a real remix and all. all what? All oh yeah, we gotta talk about this after the show. No, we're not talking Y'all about Y'all need it. another artist. I'm disappointed in that. <laughs> you need another artist? Yeah, we got I'm Maverick coming in. Yeah. They need another artist. I don't want to talk about, huh? They need another artist. Nah, bro, we ain't doing that. <laughs> well, if y'all really want some real artistry, and put me and sit on stage because we got a song. Yeah, put them on stage. You heard it. I heard you it. heard the song. Come on. Fuck ATM. <laughs> Fuck that ATM. I was like, I like going to the fucking ATM, goddamn. No, ATM is an actual organization. No, no. <laughs> it's an actual organization. They try to I don't mind five twenties. Three dollar charge. <laughs> Nah, it's, a, it's an actual organization, so fuck them. But, uh, but what I want to know is, because you say you've been there for the past two years, right? Yes, sir. So out of the two years that you've been there, what was the wildest do-rag you've seen thus far? Oh, yeah, yeah. The wildest do-rag I've seen? No, it, this is the funny shit. I seen, I kept seeing this one nigga all night, and every time I seen him, he had a different do-rag. Oh, oh that's fine. That's, that's crazy. That's so, fine. like, the fifth time, I'm like, nigga, like, where you keep getting all these fucking do-rags from? Because your pants so tight, I can see your pockets. Oh, oh shit. shit. Ain't shit in your pockets, my nigga. <laughs> you think he had all them do-rags on his head? I don't know what I the fuck he, he was doing. Hot as fuck. He was hot as hell. I don't know if he sweat bad and just <laughs> needed to change the mother. You know that right now? Oh, Love and Hip Hop when Ray J hat kept going a different side. Yeah. Every camera shot. I screamed that shit out on the microphone in front of everybody. I was like, bruh, if I see one more do rag. <laughs> I mean, he had to, it, it made an impact because you're talking yeah, about you're talking it about now. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a joke, though, but it was dope. Now, it was dope. now, now that nigga's going to double the do rags this year. Right. He's going to double that shit. Two in one hour. I you know what would be crazy? If a nigga have, like, in that same concept, but have words 
on a do rag. And it makes so a whole nigga take catch out. that shit and yeah. be like, yo, this nigga had a whole paragraph. Yeah, he had a whole <laughs> sentence. That'd wow. be crazy. I need that. Shout Don't out take to my idea. Nigga wrote a thesis any, statement with do rags. Shout yeah. out to um, <laughs> anybody watching this. I need a do rag. So we need a. You know, fashion designers, we need to get together so I can have the fly do rag yeah. so I can get shattered on the stage, okay? I need that. Yeah, that, that shit is like a, uh, it's like the do rag fest is like the Met Gala. No, for real. Of Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. 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 do rag Charlotte is like. Niggas be thing. coming out there. Niggas trim. Deck. Fire. That's a fact. Like niggas. I said, I went in depth to try to look for a do rag for me. Mm. I found one. It was great. I had like a whole black velour suit. My whole do rag was velour. I know you was hot as hell. Shit. Nah, it was cool. It was a cool night. You know what I'm saying? That's when the um, the um, black. What's them Jordans that came out? The black on black, the suede, the black. Of course, the voice. They was called the, uh, the graduate, the black, the graduation shit. They called oh. Oh. whatever. So I had those with some nice little colorful socks. I love that. That outfit was crazy. <laughs> Shout to do rag fest. They did. They had me going and get some shit. So let's tell the people where they can find y'all at. Where they can get tickets. Oh, she sleep. Wake her ass um, up, nigga. <laughs> where they can find y'all at. Where they can get tickets. Um, we're gonna link them in our on the on the profile. So all y'all that's watching this for the next few weeks, y'all gonna see do rag fest links. Um, maybe we'll, next we'll, Friday, yeah, next Saturday, maybe, you got the festival yes. popping off. Yeah, maybe yes. we'll support a ticket for a giveaway. Who knows? We can do that for sure. We can find a, a fun way to. Give away a ticket oh, or something. Oh, shit. Look at that. So we'll have a giveaway going. Maybe we'll incorporate it into the podcast. We're going to give a giveaway a, a ticket to the do rag. And so. I have an idea, too, because, you know, Unscripted Single Train is coming back next week. So mm. if you sign up for my single train, you will be entered into the giveaway. How about that? Choo-choo. Um, but tell them where they can find you. Tell them where they can get tickets. Tell them what to expect going out there. Tell them important information and what they need. Uh, follow Durag Fest at D-U-R-A-G. F E S T on Instagram. You can follow me at C A P I T A L Q seven oh four on all platforms. So yeah, this shit about to go up. And we got the after party at um compound right across the street. Oh, so if you ain't done lit. turning up, you ain't even gotta get in the car. You can take fifty oh. steps and you at compound and it's going down. That. Excuse me, Master Q. How much oh. some sex is going Yeah, on? no advisory need a section. How much oh. some sex is going Call on? Call me. Oh, you ain't saying nothing because no advisor going to be out there. Uh, no advisory in Hoochie Night. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the Hoochie's got to pull up. Yeah, you already know. Shout out to the Hoochie. <laughs> we definitely pull this up. This Hoochie fucked up. She's sleeping and shit. Leave her alone. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, we don't say, we don't say nothing with... We don't say nothing when you push over chairs and walk out of interviews because you be sleep. Uh oh. No, see, I wasn't sleep. No, he was. Oh yeah, no, he was so hot. He got up. I was just so fucked up. up. Was, I just got the fuck up because I. Why didn't you? Shout out to Swish and them fucking edibles. Edible, kicking your ass. I ain't gonna lie. No, it wasn't kicking my ass. It kicked my ass. <laughs> Badly. I was she fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Hypothetically, and you know, up. maybe a certain group of people bit into um, that edible on Friday. And hypothetically, a certain group of people was watching the t- Pooey movie. And boy, them people was high as hell. Hypothetically. Because <laughs> let me tell you. And I just heard this from a second from source. A source. Yeah, I just heard that that Tubi movie was so crazy. Niggas was just. What Tubi of, movie? It was Word. called. I heard it was called Best Friends. Mm. And the niggas wasn't dying in the movie correctly, I heard. So <laughs> a certain podcast host apparently hypothetically had to teach niggas how to really die. Because in a movie, you can't just die like. This right, you gotta do a little shake and then. All right, so sing. You gotta get shot. Die. Pa. You got shot in your arm. You holding your neck. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's two people. You gotta lay your head on the neck. Wait, that's two people. The kicker is, the kicker is that you just gotta lay and you gotta look at the place and then slowly your head drop. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. Yo, I could imagine, right? Just picture this shit. Open. They got like an open we casting call, open. right? We just, just open. for, just for actors. Come in. And you like, all right, this is a scene. You're going to get shot. Let me see you act this shit. Bang. Or right, you did. Tubi. <laughs> all right, do this. <laughs> Bang, shot. Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> right. Box office. Box office. Yeah, he box office. When, that boy good. When I, <laughs> when I get my... That boy good. That boy good. That boy can die right there. When I get my movie on TV, don't say shit. Because in the credits, it's going to be like... In, <laughs> It's going to be like shots. To you. you doing your own stunts? Huh? Right. Yeah. I, first of all, I know. But we know how to die correct. How you know how to die? Movies always be so trash when somebody's yeah. shooting because it's like they shoot and then all you see is a flash. <laughs> and then it's like that's supposed to be the bullet. Then they have this little bullshit ass CGI bullet flying through the air, flying through trees, <laughs> bouncing off people. On two? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then when they get shot, all you see is tomato. tomato. Then they pour ketchup on them. Yeah. You know what's crazy about Tubi? <laughs> like, Tubi is for the niggas that can't afford shit, but it's still free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Tubi got good Tubi shit on it, though. Got good Tubi shit on though. Not too yeah. You're not even forced to watch the bad shit no more because yeah, there's so much good shit on Tubi. Tubi got all about the Benjamins on there yeah. now. Bad boy Steve Harvey shot got the whole Bernie Mac Bernie show. Yeah. Bernie oh, Mac got Lexi on there. Yeah. They don't keep the good shit for long, though. It'll be there for a good time, not a long month. time. Every month they yeah, that's shit. Shit. But that's cool. But Tubi, you know, is for the up-and-coming videographers. Yeah, yeah that's dope. Actresses. That's why I said that I'm going to write a movie script and we're going to get in a movie on Tubi. Yeah. We got one. Shit, my life story. Oh, yeah, we need to do that. Nah, fuck that. Two, <laughs> two B is not an accomplishment. Two B movie. Yeah. I'm still calling yeah. bitches. Damn. So, yeah, we got a giveaway coming up for Durag Fest. Make sure y'all yes. get y'all tickets for Durag Fest. We're yes. going to be out there. A lot of people going to be out there. And honestly, you know, trying to toot, toot my own horn, you might find an unscripted single train out there. You might meet your men and y'all matching Durags out there. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen a bunch of matching Durags on there. It was a rainbow, like a kind of like a... You should do like a matchmaker, Durag matchmaker. Mm, that would be fire. Oh, that's fire. Oh, my God. We got to bring you You a know what you could do? Oh, I got an idea. Let's go. I want to hear. A secret Durag matchup. Oh. So the nigga, so you, the person know what they looking for. The opposite person know what they looking for. So they, they around looking for that fucking. We can follow, we can follow them into and make it. In, oh. oh shit! Unscripted single train. I want ninety five percent of that idea. And Damn. just an update: unscripted, <laughs> unscripted single <laughs> train. Right the first couple that I matched up, they went on date number six. Oh, yeah. and uh-huh. they be I, doing it. I yeah, they've they've done it. Um. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a match right there. That's yeah. that's a success. Um, um, the uh, the first couple I hooked up, they went on date number six. So I think they're about to move in. Oh, they doing it wrong. Six? Yeah, they finna move into relationship <laughs> territory. <laughs> date <thinking>. six. <laughs> nah, You're mine. They really, they really like each other. So I don't know if they did on the wrong. first date or not, but you know. <laughs> They really like each other, so you they should ask him. Like your house is sex. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask him if they want to. Come Did you on take air. the condom off? Yeah, right. <laughs> Y'all know what? I cannot. You should have your room. baby. And now I can't ask them to come on air hey. at all. Now six wow. day. Because y'all saying this wild shit, I cannot ask them. To you come still on. putting the condom on? They did come on. They come on. Oh, the six day putting the condom on? Yes. The fuck? That's crazy. Oh, that's a good question. After how many days is you taking the condom, condom off? Condom off. That's <laughs> Oh, y'all capped out. Uh-huh. Y'all trying to sound good. Y'all capped out. Yeah, before we yeah, do that, do wrong, we both got to go get tested. Yeah, we got to do a matcha. And we can do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Show me I, a matcha. I'll show you matcha. We got to do a matcha. Ain't nobody got time for that. We ain't got time for no chocks. Hey, we got time for chocks, Hey, listen. I'm good. You better go see that, man. Before I let you cream, you know, Twiggy me, you got to get tested. Everything. Filter records. Well, do the dick. This nigga got too many cavities. We heard two stories from somebody we know. We heard that you can have gonorrhea in the throat. Yes, you can. You can have gonorrhea. Yes, you can. And the dentist gonna tell you that? Yep. The doctor gonna tell you that you can have gonorrhea in the throat. The dentist like you got two cavities and gonorrhea. <laughs> How it's does that work? Story. It's true. You, you can kiss somebody. You know, oral sex and they have gonorrhea and yeah. they, like, it's clear in your yeah. mouth. It can, it can <laughs> go into your You can get gonorrhea in your throat. Mm-hmm. Oh, Call my dentist. That's crazy. When I was in high school, I knew somebody that had syphilis on their body. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely uh, <laughs> yeah, it crazy. crazy. You got to be careful with these STDs. You got to be careful with the STDs. Hey, and listen, we don't want to go to the topic. Do Rag Fest. Do Rag Fest. When is the Do Rag Fest again? June 21st and June 22nd. So day one, we got the expo, and day two, we got the OG festival. Yes, shout out. Also, y'all, don't just go to the festival. Go to the expo, too, because yes. I've been seeing the expo flyers and stuff, and it's a lot of great panels talking. Um, shout out to one of my um, one of my friends from high school and middle school, Lucini. He is doing a tech um, panel. He is the founder of a tech company that kind of develops apps and all this stuff. And Ooh. Charlotte, really big. He just did some work with the Hornets and stuff, but he's going to be on the panel um, and it's going to be a lot of great panels, a lot of great information. And go out there and network. Y'all don't know who mm. the hell you're going to meet out there. Right. Your next investor might be out there, your next, next company, your next boss, your next partnership. You never know. Mm. And it could be from anything from tech to entertainment to business, corporate. Go out there and network. I'm mm. going to try if I can get out there and network and see who I can meet, sure. and see who I can represent and stuff. So y'all should get out there and make money. Right. Chase the bag all 2024. Chase the bag. We need that. So my final question is for somebody that's um, watching 
was is intrigued by the um Durag Fest that was like, Oh, I wanna come. Um, what are you gonna what's this is your pitch. Pitch that to that person that hasn't been that heard about it and they wanna come and what will that person experience be at a do rag fest? Look at the camera. <laughs> come witness being black at its finest, man. Like mm-hmm. I said, it's black excellent. You know, black some people might say this shit ghetto, but to me this shit ghetto fabulous. So you just gotta it's gonna be a time. A time gonna be had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like last year Tia Karen pulled up on us, you know, yeah, Freaky T. Tia. So Tia. you never know who you might see. We had everybody in that bitch. You never know who you might see. Also, we got a um a party on Juneteenth Wednesday at um Blow City. Okay, uh, Blow City. And after the um expo on Friday, we got an after party at um Hip and Hops with um in conjunction with a seven oh four party. And like I said, um after the festival on Saturday we got the after party at Compound. So we lit all week. Y'all got a day party on Sunday? On Sunday we got a day party. Yeah, you absolutely right. With um dope grits. So um dope brunch and girls in the raised in the south. Oh, oh. Yeah. No, so. we need a hoochie second that Saturday, Sunday. We need a hoochie. Hoochie. I got him to say hoochie. What y'all be saying? Hoochie. They ain't turned. They ain't turned. They ain't turned. Not too much because we always turn. We just been too turned lately. Too, <laughs> too, too damn turned. No, we, we, a little we too turned. been too turned. We, like we been well, going hold out. Hold on, Q. About, look what I'm about to say. We got some Thai hoochies. We got some Thai hoochies. Yeah, let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and end this show. So yeah, we we, we got to go ahead and beat your <laughs> Go ass ahead. Do your shit. Tired hoochies. Do your shit or I need to do it. Cause we finna whoop your ass. Tired. It's your boy CEO. I'm old as hell. Yeah, y'all know what it is. It's your girl T.O. McLean. That was a great value version, but I'll take it. <laughs> Cheers, it's your boy C.O. McLean. <laughs> it's your girl Trap C. I'm going to whoop his ass after this, but it's serious unscripted. Oh, it's the one, not the two. C A P I T A L Q. Yeah. And pull up on us on June 2 2. Camp North End. Do Rad Fest. Yeah, sir. Ski. Yeah. Who gonna record this shit? Not that we're nothing to me. Who gonna record this shit? Switch, record this shit.